Hi, and welcome to the Neoprene Playmat. I'm your host, Matt Piak, and this is Taste on Tuesday, essentially where I go into what I like, what I dislike in the board gaming world. And so, as I was thinking about what to talk about today, what to talk about in my um, in, in my tastes, what what I like, what I what I don't like, what did I what did I want to share with you all? And as I, I got to thinking, uh, a comment came across uh, one of my my video posts from yesterday, my Spend My Money Monday segment, um, and somebody said something along the lines of, Role Player is awesome, or I love Role Player. Um, and this was in response to the fact that I was trading Role Player away. Um, if, if you watch the, the video, you'll see the second half, I'm doing a trade with Board Game Co., and um, one of the games I decided to trade was role player and it is one I like it's one I rather enjoy um, and so as I began thinking I was was trying to to understand well maybe why would I trade a game trade away a game that I rather enjoy that I like um, and so the the first question that I, I felt like I needed to answer to myself when thinking about this is do I need to own every game I like Heck, do I need to own every game I love? Um, and that's a that's a tough question to answer, and I think everybody will process that differently. Um, where where I landed in that is when thinking about a game, is this a game that I reasonably think will get to the table soon? Okay, so for role player, it could potentially get get to the table. Um, it's it's a good game. I do have other friends in my friend group that have the game, so that probably affected it a little bit because I, I know me getting rid of my copy doesn't mean that I won't ever be able to play it again. Um, also, Role Player has been in print for since 2016, so I, I don't see them having, I don't see that one being one that that becomes difficult to find later on if if I want to get it. Um, additionally, I don't. I don't think I need to own every game I like. Um, I don't think I need to own every game I love. If there is a game on my shelf that isn't getting play, especially if it's a good one, that means it's going to get play on somebody else's shelf. And when I think about gaming and when I think about the hobby, one of the things that I I want to do most is get games to the table. Whether it's me physically getting those games to the table and playing them, or providing others with the opportunity to get these same games to the table. And so when I look at a game that's good, that I like a lot, that has a high value in the trade market, it's because it's a desirable game, which means people want to play it. People want to get it to the table. If it's not getting to my table and collecting dust, that game is not serving its full purpose. Um... Role player is a fine game. It's a good game. If anybody asked me to play role player, I would I would be in. Um, but that that said, it's out of all my games, it's not one that I'm always itching to play. It's not one that I am constantly saying, "Hey guys, we need to do this. We need to play this game." Honestly, there are very few games that have been on my shelf for for over. Well, for it's it's that year range, right? Like if if something makes it past a year on the shelf, it's usually because I've gotten it played recently or will get it played. That or it's old inventory that I never play that has no trade value and it's hard to get rid of at this point. So it's just sitting there collecting dust. And so role player was kind of coming up on this one year mark of being in my collection and. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, it has high trade value. It, it was 70-something points, and um, I'm thinking about how much I play it, how much somebody else would play it. And from there, after contemplating, after thinking about it, I was like, okay, somebody else is going to get this to the table a lot more than I will. Um, it's a good trade value now, which means I'll be getting a game in that I'll get to the table um, that's at a higher point value. I'll be able to to get those points. The trade I did yesterday was over 400 points, which I know that's not in dollars or anything, but that's a that's a big trade. I weighed the games and I, I have about I think the, the the total shipping weight is somewhere around 45 pounds of games that I'm shipping out. So this is a rather rather large uh, trade that I'm facilitating, and so those are. <laughs> 
when when doing a trade like that, that means I have a lot of good stuff coming in too. I need to trade games that are of high value. Another one that people might shake their head or be, you know, a little bit concerned about is I got rid of Mechs and Minions. Mechs and Minions is a fantastic game with programming and a campaign. But the truth of the matter is, I never even made it through the entire campaign. When I was boxing it to get shipped out yesterday, I looked and I, I never even opened the, the final boss, the, the big dude that comes out at the end, that's labeled do not open, right? Um, and if if you haven't played Mechs and Minions, there's a, there's a guy in the box, he's like a, a bad boss near the end of the game, that he's in a box where you can kind of see part of him, like it's kind of like luring you in, like, ooh, look at this, but then the same time you can't even see his full body i don't even know what he looks like he's still in that box i never made it to him it was too hard to get through the campaign i could have played it as one shots but if you've ever played mechs and minions you know it kind of builds on itself the the first missions are easier the later missions are are harder and if you don't have any experience playing the game um early on or that sort of thing it's going to be more difficult to pick up those later missions and so I've played the first two or three missions quite a bit um, but I've never had a group that stuck together that wanted to do the whole thing we always get other games out and so I decided well maybe it's time to pass this one on somebody else will enjoy this game somebody else will be able to um, get this thing to the table and maybe maybe that boss can finally come out of of his box um, and so Yes, I trade away good games. Yes, I trade away games I like. I trade away games I love. But it's all about the value proposition. It's all about how much can I get in return for the game. And well-liked games tend to bring bring back more. And so it becomes an evaluation of how, how much am I actually going to play the game? How much is it actually going to hit the table? And if the answer is that it's not going to hit that table that often... I'm going to put it on somebody's table where it will hit often. Um, and so that's it. That's why, that's why I trade games, games away that, that I rather enjoy. That's why games that are in my top 100 sometimes aren't on my shelf anymore. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm lucky if I play um, 100 different titles that I've already played before in the same year. I'll, I'll probably get 100 different titles to the table in a year. Um, but for the most part, half of those, if not more, are new titles, are, are ones that I, I play that are new, and I get them to the table two or three times, and then I kind of determine how I feel about them. Uh, a lot of the games that are on my shelf just don't come back out. The ones that do are my all-time favorites, games like 50 First State, um, games like, um, let's see here, well... If, if you're talking lighter fair, Splendor gets out all the time. I've had that game for forever, um, but I, I still play it a lot. Raxon is one of my favorite solo games. I've had that one for a long time. It comes out um, quite a bit when I'm, I'm looking for solo play. Um, I'm trying to think of some, some other ones. King Domino, <laughs> that's a super light game, but uh, I play that one a decent amount with, with my wife. Um, and so in the grand scheme of things, there's a lot of games that I have that just don't hit the table a ton. I guess a couple more are Ethnos, um, which is a, a, a great Palo Mori game. If you haven't played Ethnos, I highly recommend it. Um, that one gets to the table a lot. So I, I have these, I have the Agoras Maximus, trick-taking game. Sorry, I'm, I'm going on a, a ramble now. But there are a lot of games that I have that I enjoy playing um, that get out multiple times after having the game for a year but there are a ton that just collect dust and it's i always got to evaluate is it better collecting dust here or is it better being on someone else's shelf where it's actually going to hit the table sometimes you just got to pull the trigger and make the tough decisions thanks again this is the neoprene playmat have a great day